everybody. Welcome back. Wingman's Hangar, episode 26. If you're new to the show, we're pretty much a look at Star Citizen and everything related to Cloud Imperium games and the making of Star Citizen. Now, I'm not actually here today. I'm winging my way back from the Bahamas. But we're recording this episode. Can't miss an episode, baby! So we've got a really nice one this week. We've got coming up this week, the week in review. We've got forum feedback with more of your creative videos. We've got wide world news, tidbits from the world at large, and an interview with community manager and designer, Ben Lisnick. Let's just get right to it. I am again in the Bahamas. Actually, probably while this show airs, I'm on a plane crying about leaving the Bahamas. So by then, I'll probably be back to my old standard fat weight and tan as a rascal. I hope to be anyway. Also, what are we doing this week? We've got a 24-hour live prep. We're prepping for the big 24-hour live stream one week from today. It's going to be really, really fun. We have a lot of stuff to reveal. Sandy, Chris, hard at, Sandy's hard at work. Sandy and Ben are basically designing the whole thing. Chris and I are going to have a good time. It's going to be a lot of really uh, fun reveals for the show. I think you guys are going to really, really like it. Please stay tuned. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Um, Sandy was in town this week. She was filming the roundtables for... Mm, mm, the event I just mentioned. We have Fan Focus with Mike Sittler, Chiromancer on the boards. Take it away, Mike. You actually brought us some gifts today. I did. What, what, well, tell, tell everybody what you did, because it was amazing. Well, I was in the chat with Brittany, and she had said she hadn't had any good uh, Texas barbecue, and we had to remedy that, so I hopped down to uh, Kreitz, Kreitz and brought you guys some gifts. Now, no, how did you find out about us? That's an interesting story. Um, originally, I was I found out that I had a, a tumor, which was a surprise, that, that, yeah, and that gave thing. me some time off of work. Wow! So I was playing around on the internet. I found this thing called Kickstarter, mm -hmm. and uh, came across uh, Richard Garriott's. Shroud of the Avatar. That's pretty cool. You know, Richard and Chris actually worked. We all actually worked at Origin, along with Mike, who's behind the camera. Say hi, Mike. There's Mike right there. Uh, a lot of ex-Originites here. Yeah. And uh, so you found your way to Star Citizen, and and you had to pledge. I had to. So what kind of ships do you own then? What's what, uh, what's, what's in got, your hangar? Uh, right now, I have a Constellation. I've got beautiful ship. A man. couple of Aurora LXs and a couple of people on trying to convince that they need them. Now you've seen some pretty cool stuff today, right? That was a that was a surprise. Yeah. That was a surprise. <laughs> you've had a few sneak peeks. You think they're going to like it? I think they're really going to like it. Are you looking forward to the hangar coming up here this summer? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you'll have the you'll have the Aurora's in there, you'll have the uh, the Connie in there. You're going to put the Starfarer and the M50. Did you see the Starfarer? Uh, did you get to see some? I may have. Well, did you now? What happened with the tumor? Uh, the tumor was removed on April 12th. Mm -hmm. um, it is benign. It was benign! A, uh, now, benign means... Benign means it is not cancer. Mm. Well, we want to thank you very much for showing up and coming down and, uh, and taking a tour of the place, and especially thanks for the barbecue, and it's Absolutely. fans like you that make doing this all worth it. Well, thanks a lot, man. The best development without the best fans. That's, That's exactly right. So where are we going to see him? In the verse. In the verse. Thanks, Cairo Mancer. Really, really good guy. He joined us for happy hour the next day, too. It was a really, really fun event. I think Ken Shadow was there, Glitch, him, Mike Nightingale. Always fun to hang out with the fans. Also, Peter Mackey. Just went over the edge. Thanks to you guys. Take a look at this. Hi, I'm Michael with Pete Mackey, our very own weather wizard, who's going to be taking a trip 32 stories up and jumping over the edge for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. How are you feeling now? You're about ready to go. Yeah, it's almost uh, go time. They're going to put me in the harness here in about 10 minutes. So. So you're gonna you're gonna get rigged up, and then they're gonna take you up in the elevator and. Uh, yeah, they're rigging me up, and then I uh, think, think there's a practice wall that they'll have me go down just to get used to how it feels, and then we go to the top. <laughs> so uh, awesome! So yeah, you're uh, this is the first time you've done something like this. Have you ever done any sort of high altitude sports before? Um, I have been skydiving before, so you know, I mean, it seems like on one hand it seems like that would be scarier than this, but for some reason this is a little bit more nerve wracking than that was. No, I agree. I've been skydiving too, and when you're strapped to a jump master, it's you're in their hands. You, it's, it's entirely up to them, and you trust them. But it's, you're on your own now. You don't have anybody uh, watching out for you. Well, there is a huge crew upstairs taking care of everybody. Right, but I have to do it. It's like on my own. I, you know, I 
I'm the one who's controlling the brake. So. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Well, so Pete's going to be going up in just a little bit, and we'll catch him on the other side. Gave you champagne. Yep, champagne for accomplishing the uh, journey. That was, you're still shaking a little bit yeah, there. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> I bet it was. Uh, you, feel, you feel tired? You got tired? Yeah, it's, uh, it's so much fun though. I bet it I is. I want to go do it again. What about the adrenaline rush, right? Uh, yeah, the first time, it wasn't really that weird until the first time both of my feet left the building at the same time. It was like, oh, that's creepy. <laughs> now, you know, your mom was watching this whole thing yep. via telepresence. Yep, yeah, so. Hi, Mom. <laughs> so we'll be sure to put this together for her, too. So uh, on behalf of everybody who contributed from the, um, the Star Citizen community, oh, from yeah. your friends, and from everybody in Austin, uh, that's just amazing. Yeah. Thing that you Thanks did for, for making it happen. You guys did great. You guys raised a lot of money for Make-A-Wish, so thank you so much. And that's Pete Mackey, our very own weather wizard. Wow, that was cool. I mean, it's amazing what happens when the community gets together for a good cause, like Make a Wish and Pete. That's that's some pretty cool stuff. So, Rob's here. I'm here. Must be time for what? F -f 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 Forum feedback. Yes. Exactly. Let's get right to it. <laughs> From Ruben, the completionist O2, he says, "Will the 24-hour stream be dual hosted in Austin and LA, or will some of the Austin office head here to LA for it?" Hmm, good question. You know what? Uh, he must be in L.A. if he's saying here for it. Yeah. You know, Ruben, we're probably going to be doing both locations. Uh, more of a telethon kind of thing, back and forth, you know, together. Uh, there'll be some people that want to come be part of it in L.A. and some people want to come be part of it in Austin. So it's going to be this one big experience. We're actually designing how that works now. It's only a week away, so you want to make sure you get there. So uh, we'll be there. There'll be ways to talk to back and forth with each other. We've we'll, got to make it work. we just got to figure out the logistics. From Bluntos, he says, Hey, Wingman, I wanted to ask you if RSI would consider offering an identity provider service, much like, for example, Google. It would be nice if Star Citizen players could use the RSI credentials to access community websites. We already talked about that a little bit yeah. uh, when we introduced the new website, when we talked about the new website coming mm -hmm. online. We are going to have a single login that is shared between the game and the website. Right. I'm not sure what else we would offer that that would log yeah, into. Yeah, like community but... stuff. And st I'm not sure how that would all work. I know we do yeah. the Star Citizen cards for uh, entry into events, although if you don't have a Star Citizen card, you got there too late, you can still print your account or come in anyway. We're not an exclusive. Well, we are exclusive. We're, we're, we're inclusive is the word I'm trying to use. I'm That's butchering the, the English. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> from Bacos, ba ba oh, Bacon Zitos. <laughs> from Bacon Zitos, can we take video footage of the game when Alpha Beta comes and post it on YouTube? What do you think? Uh, they're kind going of a, to, kind they? of, I know they are. It's, kind of, <laughs> it's, it's a very much a Chris question, right? But that is a Chris I question. think he'd be perfectly, uh, just guessing, I mean, we want to grow the audience. Yeah. And if. It, it, Make it good footage. Yeah, don't don't. don't. don't if there's bad footage or, or glitches and stuff, I wouldn't post that because you know you guys are part of the community. You're helping us out, so making sure it's the good stuff. Yeah, of course you're gonna be able to post it. Don't suck. No, don't. That's right. That's right. The same. <laughs> we have the a theme. The same rule applies for the <laughs> for the sound recordings. Don't suck. Um, from Dark Noodles, he says, "Will there be no traveling as in freelancer? If so, we could shut down a nice node." Oh, I'm butchering this. Whoa. I'll try it again. Will there be no <laughs> traveling as in freelancer? If so, we could shut a node down to attack a convoy or such. 
you know, uh, it's not really going to be like Freelancer, is it? No, 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 no. No, no, it's, 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 although they will, you will be able to blockade certain things, but what, Some from points, what I understand, maybe. yeah, but what I understand is that you're not necessarily going to come out exactly the same spot, so yeah. we don't want people to gang up and grief a lot of people coming through like they do in other games. Some point like, campers suck. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> from M. Palman and Sarzu, this is a cool video, check this out. Computers and will you and Brittany consider voicing them? Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool stuff. They're very, very creative. Very um, creative. So how uh, will there be other shipboard computers? We actually we're just working on avionics this week. So yeah, there are going to be some really, really interesting upgrades you can put on your ship's computer, and probably some of them will include voices. Again. If they don't suck. Well, that's right. That the rule applies to Brittany. It applies to me. Absolutely. If we suck. We're not going to be in the game. No turn left, you idiot. <laughs> Who are you that flies so well? <laughs> that did Private suck. How did that person that get it? That sucks. That did suck, but it's it's like lore now. It's like, are your base belong to us? Or, or Leroy Jenkins. You know, those kind of... Who all are you who are, fly so good? Who are you that fly so good? <sighs> that, <laughs> do you know who did that? Who was that? Gilbert. Oh, man. Gilbert wrote that. that I don't know who did the voice. so funny. I mean, it's so funny. It's so bad. From Raider Football 11 says, when can we get our greasy paws on the star map? Uh, we have the star map hanging on the wall in there. Redacted, yeah. Everyone who's come to visit has seen it. You know, there might actually be, just, just so you'll know, greasy paw man, there might actually be <laughs> some stuff coming up on the 24-hour live stream that shows... I don't know, maybe a 3D representation, perhaps, of the star map? Ooh. Maybe. I don't know what's coming. You just have to wait Say and it see. Ain't so. And from one of our favorite videoologists, who has a running gag or running serial with Legante, Ken Shadow. What do you got? Wait, it's Ken Shadow again from DreadCitizen.com. I had to eject from my ship and uh, parachute down to the planet. Quick question. Are there any uh, uh, restrictions on uh, the types of ships that you can have as your room? Could you say flying a constellation and have a constellation woman? Or, uh, Perhaps we're flying a fighter and have a cargo vessel. Looks like the, uh, here it comes. Ooh, nice. Man, I hope he's okay there. I hope he had insurance. He was clearly shot down and yeah. he made his way down. <laughs> so, uh, what was the question again? Because that was such a good video. <laughs> Are there any restrictions on the type of ships you can you can rent with your wingman? No. Oh, why not? Why? It's a sandbox, man. You can put any ship with any other ship. I mean, it may not make a lot of sense. So you might be able to rent an NPC that can like be a cargo hauler for you or something like that. Sure, why not? I mean, that's exactly right. There shouldn't be limitations. No. We should be the unlimiting game. As, as much limited. Hey, here's one question from Overlord. He says, are we going to learn a few words of German for GamesCon? Hmm. Hmm. Nine. Nine, nine. Tika taka, taka. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Leak the baka, leak the baka. Oh, yes, absolutely. We're gonna be coming over there and maybe shooting a few of you fans on the on the show. So, can you say beer garden? Oh yeah. yeah, it's better than kindergarten. It's a running thing. Beer garden, I know, right? Well, so that's this that's this week's forum feedback, and now it's time for MVP, our MVP post with Brittany Godfrey. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. This week's MVP goes out to Wouter Gronin, who started the unofficial Star Citizen wallpaper thread. It's a short thread now, but I suspect after today, it's going to grow a little longer. Join in and post your fan-created wallpaper. Thanks, Wouter. You've made the most valuable post. Back to you, Eric. Thanks, Brittany. 
And now it's time for Wide World News. One of the greatest challenges facing future astronauts is the high level of radiation in deep space. The Earth is protected by that radiation by the magnetosphere, which absorbs and deflects it away and keeps us safe. One recent NASA mission improved scientists' understanding of the hazards of space. NASA's Mars Curiosity rover began its scientific discoveries before it even landed on Mars. On its way to the red planet, Curiosity's radiation assessment detector measured the high energy radiation from within the capsule that enclosed the rover. These measurements will help NASA protect future astronauts when they fly within spacecraft and are exposed to deep space radiation. It turns out that traveling to deep space is equivalent to receiving a full body CT scan every five or six days. By using Curiosity's data, NASA is learning exactly how much shielding is required to protect its astronauts. Quite a bit of shielding, unfortunately. And now let's take a look back in time with This Week in Space. Another of America's spectacular series of achievements in space research over the Mojave Desert. The X-15 rocket plane is carried to a height of 45,000 feet by its mother craft. Then the rocket plane cuts loose, and on a four-minute burst from its rocket engine, it soars to a height of nearly 25 miles to the very fringe of outer space, higher than man has ever ventured before. At 131,000 feet, test pilot Major Robert M. White saw the Earth below, the blue of the sky, and the deeper hue of space itself. The record flight of Major White is but another stage in the program that may culminate with a rocket plane actually flown into its own orbit. And that is a look at your Wide World News. And now, a hazy look with our own Mark Skelton. So why is it that bra is singular and panties are plural? Good one. <laughs> if you have a hazy thought for Mark, submit it to this thread right here. And we, might, we just might feature it on Wingman's Hangar. Keep it original and keep it hazy. And now it's time for our own Sandy Gardner to interview Ben Lisnick. Take it away, Sandy. Everybody. I'm here with Ben Lesnick, our community manager and game designer. Hello, hey, ben. Sandy, good to see you. And Ben, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Oh, absolutely. Um, like you, I'm one of Cloud Imperium's earliest employees. Uh, I've been here so long that they didn't have a video interview for me when you guys met me initially, so True. here we are. Um, I, uh, I came on in June or July to help everybody uh, Plan this before Star Citizen even had a name. I've been working with Chris uh, on the website, on the game design, uh, planning events. Uh, I've, I've had my fingers in everything. Uh, everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's been a crazy ride. Uh, I, I had a. I was working in education when I started here. I was an administrator in a public school system and uh, ended up spending all my nights working on Star Citizen for a couple months and. Then when the funding was a big success, I came down here to Austin to be here full time. Hired him as soon as we could. Um, and it was pretty silly. You played Chris Roberts games before. I know the answer oh, to Oh, absolutely. This. <laughs> I've, I've been a Wing Commander fan since the start. I've, I've run the Wing Commander community for uh, since 1995 now. That, that's how Chris knew me. Um, I can rem in fact, I, I was looking back at my old like internet journal posts from like 2003, and I, I would post things like, "Oh my God, Chris Roberts emailed me today! I'm so excited!" Um, I don't get as excited anymore. <laughs> Chris emails me because we hear from him a lot. <laughs> That's true. But uh, uh, with work to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but it's it's been an amazing ride. It's uh, fantasy come true so far. And what are you looking forward to in Star Citizen? Uh, the multi-crewed ships are the big thing for me. That that's something I've never seen in a space game. It's it's going to be like playing Star Wars. I can't wait to get my buddies in my seat next to me and manning the turret and escorting me a little fighter. It's it's going to be an amazing experience. All right, I might have to buddy up with Ben Losnick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody.
And here he is right now. Hey, Ben, how you doing? Hey, great. Hey, everybody. Good to talk to you all again. Now, so people, now you were on one of the, one of the original episodes of Wingman's Hangar. We, we don't talk about that. Was that? Oh, there was there was a faux pas in that episode. Was that episode two? 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 Don't go watch it. Might be on YouTube. I don't know. Just saying. So how did you how did you come to be involved with uh, Star Citizen? Uh, I've been a Wing Commander fan since uh, since the beginning, nineteen ninety. I've been running the Wing Commander community since uh, ninety five, and uh, every time Chris Roberts had a project, he would kind of come to me and say, "Hey, if this works, uh, can you help me out?" And uh, finally, this one took off. I've been with uh, Cloud Imperium since last uh, July. Since July, that's July, right. And yeah. you've been doing mm-hmm. so. Pretty much for people that don't know, mm-hmm. a lot of the Comlink stuff that's written. It's it's your stuff. Yep, uh, almost anything on the com link has some of me in it. I mean, there's a lot of Chris, uh, but uh, yeah, I have I'm all over the com link. Yeah, and Ben, I mean, and his writing is fantastic. It's pro- prodigious. I mean, during the 24-hour live stream, you were like just cranking stuff out, and it's really good stuff. You do a really really good job. I appreciate that. Yeah, that that stream was crazy. It was come up with a new ship, come up with a new planet. Uh, we you know we said we're gonna set these hundred thousand dollar goals, and we'll have a new planet every hundred thousand dollars. And I said. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and I'll make like five of them, so we'll have them in the can. And you, know, you guys, uh, <laughs> in about twenty minutes, yeah, we need a number yeah. six. <laughs> six, oh no, it was crazy. You know, yeah. we're very thankful, though. I mean, it was amazing. I, I think what it did is it validated how, how our, you know, we've liked space games forever, mm-hmm. and how many of us there are out there. Yeah, it, it, it's it's taking it back from the publishers that have been saying. Uh, yeah, you can't well, do this kind of game. Nobody cares about this kind of game. Well, ten million dollars says people do care. That's right, and and we're on the way up. So I mean, you know, we only need twenty. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Just kidding. It obviously is proving that we that we are uh, a viable product, and and Chris is. It's done an amazing job. I, I think you know Chris is obviously the vehicle for us because oh, yeah. you know he's got the the uh, cachet and people know who he is. Know he does really really good stuff, and you know um, we're lucky to be part of this. I think honestly, yeah, he, he's got the vision. I don't think you could do a space game without Chris Roberts. If EA wanted to come back and do Wing Commander, it just wouldn't oh no, be the same. not the same. I mean, he literally uh, drives the entire vision, and, and he doesn't settle for second best, and it's just amazing that way. Yeah, uh, he's everywhere. He he's he's like <laughs> he could be here. <laughs> yeah, we were going to get notes on this interview. That's probably right. So it says you met your fiance on Twitter? That's right, yes. She followed me on Twitter, and uh, that's how we, we met. She she thought I was hilarious. And so that's how you me. met your Yeah, fi- that's how we met. On Twitter? On Twitter, yep. So usually it's like, you know, one of those, uh, what, what the heck, you have the Christian Mingles or something, you know, all those kind of sites out there. That What are the other ones called? Matchmaker? I wouldn't know. Match.com, <laughs> O'Reary. And so you, you're on, you met her on Twitter. That is yeah. really, really, that's probably, it's strange and cool at the same time. And it, also you build PCs, but not like the high-end ones. Yeah, I, I build uh, incredibly low-end PCs, so I... Uh, I look at the specs for like, what was the max spec for the original Wing Commander? It's like if you had a 486, this game's amazing, and if you had a Roland sound card, so I, I figure out whatever the awesome stuff that I couldn't afford when I was 12 was, and I I put together PCs based on that. You know, I might have a lot of that old stuff lying around. I should probably bring it in and just give it to you because that would be awesome. Yeah, because I mean, I think I have a lot of creative blasters, sound mm-hmm. blasters, and, and Roland cards and game cards. Remember the game cards? Yeah, you, yeah you could do multiple joysticks. I've got a, I've got a VR helmet from 1994. Oh man. It's for uh, playing Wings of Glory, if anyone remembers. Oh, that Wings of Glory! Game. I loved that game actually. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't the one where you could hear the, the the canvas stretching and stuff on there. Yeah, it's actually it's a lot like what we're doing with the Oculus Rift. You can look around the cockpit, and uh, it's it's surprising how cool it was then. Yeah, I th- and that's you know I'm I'm happy that joysticks are coming back because I think a lot of you know people have gotten used to doing this, mm-hmm. and this is just as much fun. And, and there's you know like I can't wait oh, for yeah. the winglet to try that out. You know, he's got a new joystick. We're gonna the get that. Throttle setup, rudder pedal. There you go. Yeah. You know, and you are getting married though. Just so you know, it does happen. We still can get married if, even if we have this this dork out thing in the house, right? So, well, I'll tell you when she when she got to my apartment in Austin, I had a, a six foot tall stand up of Mark Hamill and <laughs> Wing Commander posters everywhere, and so uh, Mark Hamill's in the closet now, and uh, we have a Wing Commander themed guest bathroom. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I have anything. I have um, all my stuff is pretty much in storage now. I mean, it's like 
I have a closet, and mm-hmm. in the back are all the game consoles that were made. All you know, some PC. God, I have hundred. You've seen the games I oh, have in my hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm envious of your hallway game collection. Uh, you, that's only like a third, <laughs> if even that. I mean, it's, it, it got a huge game collection. So, and the Austin, the the library, the local repository has been after mm-hmm. me to give up my games, but you know, because I have like the original Ultimas, I mean, Wing Commanders, and all those things, and Mobius. Um, just all kinds of crazy origin stuff from back in the day, you know. There's actually a uh, Ben Lesnick collection at that library. Uh, Did you really I've, I've donate? Been donating all, I've been scanning all the old origin development docs, and then I hand them off to the library afterwards. So, that, but you, scanning you, them, yeah. Oh, I, so you're keeping them. I'm yourself. keeping coffee, <laughs> and then, uh, but you you can go and check out uh, check out documents from the Ben Lesnick Wing Commander collection. That is that, that is really actually pretty cool. Now you're a big space history fu- buff too, so yep, yep. Um, uh, what, what's that about? You travel around or? Oh, I mean, I've I've, I've always been to space history. I, my senior thesis in college was. Johnson administration Apollo program, um, but yeah, yeah, I've, I've been trying to travel around, and see all the American spacecraft. I'm, I'm about seventy percent there. I got to get out to get out to L.A. see the shuttle that's there, and there's some museum in Kansas. Well, that's recent, right? They just yeah, moved they that just shuttle moved out that there. Yeah. <laughs> so you you can be like a hundred percent, and all of a sudden they put something yeah, else you got to yeah, get yeah. to. And so you've been to NASA, I guess, in Houston. Oh yeah, yeah. Seen the Saturn V. They finally enclosed that, which makes right. it a much better experience in the summer because it was crazy down there. Yeah. Wow. It was it was scary seeing it kind of decay over the time. So now, so you have some ridiculous things in your Wing Commander collection. So why don't you tell people a little bit about it? Um, let's see, uh, and this is actually somehow still dis- displayed in my living room. Uh, there's a Wing Commander Four candy bar. Uh, <laughs> That's not probably going to be good to eat anymore. No, it's it's kind of disgusting. But yeah. I put it in a little glass box. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I have a pair of Freddie Prince Jr. socks, which I found on eBay. How did you get? How do you? Was it a certificate of authenticity? How a certificate of authenticity. For Freddie um, Prince Jr. socks. Yeah, it was like six bucks too. So it was, oh, what a bargain! It was about the same price as regular socks, I guess. So. <laughs> Somebody else could. Well, that you know, hey, you, you probably have the only pair of those around. Yeah, put them in a frame. Cool, cool. Now we are hosting the the Wing Commander uh, movie in October, right? We're gonna do some sort of event. We're gonna announce. It yeah, to... uh, details forthcoming, but uh, we we are having a Star Citizens event this October. Uh, it's Citizen be Con. Good. Citizen Con, yeah. Yeah, I like the sound of that. So uh, make your travel plans. And I think I got I got to give Sandy credit. I think she actually coined Citizen Con, either her or Chris. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna give Sandy credit. She's prettier. So, uh, it, but it, you know, who knows? It definitely wasn't me. So listen, uh, you've got uh, you've got a big important job here as well. You're also on the design team. Yep, yep. I've, I've helped out a lot with the design the last uh, few months. Amazing. We're very lucky to have you. Ben's doing a good job. I want to thank him for joining us here today. Uh, thanks again to subscribers and for uh, helping us do this and pledgers for allowing us to even exist as a company. Um, coming up next week, 24-hour live stream. Absolutely. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. It's going to be a big deal. It's I... huge. We've got a lot of reveals. We're working out the logistics of how it's all going to come you know, together. And if I don't fall asleep again. I'm sure you will. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was my takeaway from the first one. <laughs> Right, right. It was fun though. That and, and the the drunk angry Billy and oh. some other stuff we had. Some, it was crazy, you guys. If you didn't missed it, you don't want to miss this one. Mm-hmm. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Whenever we post something on the com link or Facebook or wherever it is, we always make the video. We put it on YouTube channel. You'll get alerted. Make sure you join. Um, the 300 brochure, eye brochure comes out later today, and there might be some other stuff which I don't just want to mention. But the 300 eye brochure looks amazing. Next week. Wingman's Hangar will be followed by the 24-hour live stream. And don't forget the after show, Wingman's Hangover. Since I'm not here, it's going to be hosted by... I'll be here. Ben's going to be here. So join him in the chat room and talk about how we did on the show. Probably a little better than Wingman's... What was the first show called? It. What was it no, called? Nope. nope. Yeah, well, it was called out. Wingman's Nuts, but we got uh, usurped and it's now Wingman's Hangar. Better for everybody, I think. Don't you agree? Yeah, well, we, we took... The old name, and we shaved it down. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. For <laughs> Cut. Just kidding. If you want your stuff featured on Wingman's Hangover, send it in. We just might use it. We'll see you in the verse.